I'll go sit on there again for another point. Good. No, really, to be honest. It's just it's the same feeling, isn't it? Every time you, you come here, you just get into that. And for me, I just fall asleep. I've already had a nap today. <laughs> already? What time did you get here? <laughs> I got here at, what did you get here? 11. Oh, yeah. And I was asleep by 12. <laughs> <laughs> I think straight after, like, after like, I healed up, and I think I just got straight, literally straight back into fight camp anyway, so there weren't really any sort of Dealing with it, I didn't have to. I didn't have to deal with anything because I lost. So what? I can do it again. Do you know what I mean? So, Got to be careful, but you know, with a good game plan, you can beat anyone. Can't you? I'd like a another title shot. I'd like, hopefully, this win. Maybe another one. Title shot. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling great. Just ready to go now. Uh, ready to just uh, cut the weight, uh, drop the weight down a bit, and then uh, get the fight going. It's becoming very natural to me now because that's my third fight in six months. So every every uh, three months I've been fighting now, um, and it feels great to be honest. It's uh, I appreciate the opportunity to come out here in the in the times of COVID, and then uh, it's just I'm just grateful to be here to have an opportunity to show off my skill, and then you come in here to a nice hotel. Uh, so that that's good as well. I'm going for the finish immediately, but if he survives, he's just going to be taking brain damage. Fuck it, go with that one, Lejo. <laughs> I think we'll go with that one. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Okay, lads. Who was the naughtier child? Me. Yeah, my definitely hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Who's the better cook? Oh, uh, oh that's a hard one, yeah, man. It's I, I'll go even on that. Yeah. Even. Yeah, right. uh, who's got the better fashion sense? I say me. I say Mike. Yeah, yeah. Mike. Who wins in sparring? Ah, oh, very even, man. I'll very. Tell you what, you can, you'd be selling like thousands of tickets to watch us. Yeah, spar, I'll tell you that. Who won the fights when you were kids? Oh, uh, uh, probably Matt. But yeah, maybe because I, I was a bit yeah, older. Yeah, a bit, yeah, older, a bit older. Uh, who was better in school? Uh, me. Yeah. Yeah, me as well. I, so. I was just a rebel. And who was the favourite child? I know, not even. Not, yeah, not yeah. even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How many times? How many times we got a knockers team? Fair enough. Is this one? Well, I'm wearing it, but I'm sorry. So I don't want to hear it, mate. Let's go. I'll give you this call. Right, okay. All right, you can go in there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Boxer size. Boxer size. Shanto to Zoom class. <laughs> You've got us wait to my way up. Get up, lads. That's it. Go back here on now. Get in the vlog, lads. No, uh, there's too many, you don't want to get in the vlogs. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they're all quiet now. They're talking shit the whole time. As soon as you've got a camera on, they're quiet. <laughs> you see us less, we're doing more. <laughs> I put that on Instagram one day and fuck me, I have not heard the end of it since. Where are we going, number one? So we're just going to run through um, the production elements of the show, the COVID rules that we have to, uh, we, have to you know, we have to adhere to to do this show. Weigh-ins uh, tomorrow morning in this room, 9.30 a.m. for registration. As you walk in, Terry, and Dean at the back will be taking your entrance music, your glove sizes, uh, and any other information directly related to the fight so that we streams like everything when you get to the venue, we'll do it all tomorrow, we'll get it out of the way. Um, just to reiterate, um, I know it sounds boring, we've gone on about it loads. This is the bubble. This floor, the gym on the second floor, up to the desk downstairs where you pick up your takeaways. Not the three lifts at the end, only these two we've allocated. Anywhere beyond that, if you're seen anywhere beyond that, Unfortunately, your fight will be off. We have CCTV everywhere. We have security on every exit of the bubble. Please stay within that area. Um, best of luck with your, with your fights on Thursday. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, buzzing for the fight. I think it has the potential to be a great fight. 
but I, I'm sort of assuming that Kieran's going to turn their grappler very fast. But we've worked on everything to stop that happening, so I'm excited to go out and put on a show. Oh, Yeah, I'm excited for the fight. Uh, another tough fight. You know, there's no easy fights in Cage Warriors. But uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge and I think I can get the win on the night. Uh, got about 4 or 5k to cut. Just finished uh, 5 threes with us. Just did some light pad work just to break a sweat. And then we're going to go up to uh, the second level in the gym, do a little bit more cardio and then hop past tonight and then we in there. Get in on the weight, no bother. I'm going to interview you now. Okay. Uh, so basically, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. One of the first questions I'm going to ask you is your name, plus your nickname, uh, your fight record, and where you fight from, right? Yeah. Um, I'll ask you about your nickname, why are you called Drago. I assume it's. Why is it actually? Just yeah. Drago. Drago, yeah, Drago yeah. Right? It's the Rocky Four. Ivan Drago, right? Ivan Drago, yeah, 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 yeah that's what I, I thought. Make, My name is Will Curry. My nickname is Drago. I was named that after. Ivan Drago from Rocky IV, an old MMA coach, thought it was funny, so gave me the nickname. Um, my professional record is 5-0. I fight out of London, and uh, yeah, I'm here to party. Uh, so I know Christian Leroy Duncan has an extensive amateur record. He's actually beaten the guy that I last faced. who was a two-time European IMF champion in the amateurs. He's on a two-fight win streak, as you said, the highlight yeah. rule finishes. Yeah. He's got the third in the world at IMF. If I beat him and finish him, and he's never been finished in 30 fights, yeah. I think I deserve a title shot. You think you'd be friendly with that? Yeah, okay. Well, if I deliver the performance that deserves the title shot, I'll, I'll deserve the title shot. I agree. So, yeah, that's the plan. Yo, like, your game's good enough now, we're right after. Like, I was originally Clock Tower, but they called me Clock Tower because I was like quite a quiet kid. So like, um, they just thought I was a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's, and it got, obviously got shortened to Clocky T, because then I started triangling people and that became my thing. So now I just tell people it's because I clock triangles. <laughs> I consider myself an elite level gra grappler. I probably had about 500 Jiu Jitsu matches, you know, like, as well as competing in MMA. Uh, I had a long amateur career at MMA as well. Um, and obviously, like most of my wins come by submission, so obviously I'll be, you know, looking to take it to the floor. Obviously, he is, he's probably expecting that. He probably thinks he's going to try and put his hands on me, but obviously the striking's improved a lot as well for this camp. So I think it's going to be a good night for Clocky T. Christian Duncan, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, on the left, blue. Nice one. There we go. Um, are you having your hand wrapped by yours or by yeah, your own team? Yeah, by yours, yeah. And what glove size are you, mate? It was the XL last time. XL, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. One, five, five, even. Good. One, five, five, six, four. Hands up. Steven Hooper versus Mikael Piglak. Come on, guys. Okay, come on, guys. Nice one. Yeah, we'll see you all. Choke your fuck out. Choke your fuck out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how far I can go. You stepped back two steps before you said that. Next fight! Come on, gents, let's go. Let's go, guys, come on. Let's go.
87.4. Question. Orange dots to centre, please, guys. Step back a bit, mate. James. Gumbies, these are eight plastic bottles to get made these. Recycled eight plastic bottles. So good for the environment as well. It's a fight. We we, we plan we plan to stand obviously but at the same time it's a fight we and anything can happen. Um, so we are prepared for everything. But yeah, it just we just like to fight.